Let us consider a horizontal line like this. Let there be another line making an angle of alpha with the first line. That is, this one is equal to alpha. Now let's draw another line inclined beta with the second line. That is, this angle is equal to beta. So we have three lines. Now drop a perpendicular, drop a perpendicular from this point to the second line and also to the bottom line. That is, this one is, this one is 90 and this also is 90. Now drop a perpendicular from this point to this line, this vertical line, that is this is 90 and also drop a perpendicular from this point to the bottom line. Now let's name all the, all the point of intersections that is A, B, C, D, E, F. If this angle is alpha, this angle will be 90 minus alpha. This one is 90 minus alpha. Also, since these two angles are vertically opposite angles, this will be 90 minus alpha. And let's call this point O. From the triangle, right triangle OFD, since this angle is 90 minus alpha, this angle will be alpha. Clear? We don't need this angle. See, so that angle will be alpha. Similarly, for the right triangle EDO, if this one is 90 minus alpha, this one is 90 minus alpha, this angle will be, this angle will be alpha. Clear? So, if this is alpha, this angle is alpha, also this angle is also alpha. Now, consider, the, see, this angle is 90. Now, consider cos alpha plus beta. That is cos of angle A. Cos will be adjacent, that is AB by AB. I am just considering, I am considering this triangle AB. So, cos alpha plus beta is equal to AB by AE. And if you, if you, if you look at AB, AB is the difference of AC and BC. That is AB equal to AC minus BC. So, AB can be written as AC minus BC divided by AD. This can also be written as AC by AE minus BC by AE. Clear. Now let's introduce AD and ED in here. That is AC by AE is equal to AC by let's write AD into AD by AE. See this AD and AD will can get cancelled and the ratio remains the same that is AC by AE minus here BC by this can be written as BC by AD multiply the denominator and numerator with AD by AE. Again this AD and AD will get cancelled and the ratio remains the same BC by AE. Now, Let's look at what the value of AC by AD is. See AC by AD. If you, if you look at the triangle ACD, then AC by AD is the value of cos alpha. Cos alpha into, what about AD by AE? AD by AE. See AD by AE. If you consider the triangle ADE, then AD is the adjacent side and AE represents the hypotenuse. So, adjacent side by hypotenuse is cos beta. Cos beta. Now, the minus sign BC by AD. What about BC by AD? 
BC by AD. Instead of BC, you can write FD. See, this BC and FD remains the same. So, this BC can be written as, I'm just erasing this BD. So, sorry, this BC. And instead of BC, you can write FD. Now, look at the triangle, this small triangle FDO. Sorry, this EFD. What about FD by ED? That is the sign of this angle alpha, opposite side by adjacent. So, uh, opposite side by hypotenuse, sin alpha. Into what about ED by AE? ED by AE. Look at the triangle ADE again. So, the opposite of beta is ED. ED by AE. Opposite by hypotenuse means sin beta. Which means cos alpha plus beta is equal to cos alpha into cos beta minus sin alpha into sin beta. So that's the result. Now you have cos of alpha cos sorry cos alpha plus beta is equal to cos alpha into cos beta minus sin alpha into sin beta. What about cos cos alpha minus beta? This can also be written as cos of alpha plus minus beta. So what, what you have to do is instead of beta you only have to substitute minus beta. So the equation become cos alpha cos of minus beta minus sin alpha into sin of minus beta. As we already discussed in the earlier video that sin of minus theta is minus sin theta since it is an odd function. And for cos theta, cos of minus theta is cos theta. The function doesn't change because it is an even function. So sin of minus theta is minus sin theta and cos of minus theta is cos theta. And this will be cos alpha and from compare these two you get cos of minus beta is cos beta minus sin alpha but sin of minus beta is minus sin beta. This minus and minus will get cancelled and the equation and the sign changes to plus. Therefore, cos of alpha minus beta is equal to cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta. Clear.